Hi guys, Michael Bell here, and uh, welcome to the first video of 2016. And um, as promised, I'm going to be jumping in again straight back into the screen captured stuff. Um, today, we're basically going to be looking at uh, an action cue I've just composed called um, "The Raging of the Falcons." So uh, take that as you will. Um, it is a say it's an action cue, so uh, be, be careful of your volumes. Um, I want to focus particularly on strings. There's a lot going on in this track. Um, lots of percussion. Um, fair bit of brass um, but mainly a lot of strings and a lot of percussion but I wanted to focus on combining different libraries um, together um, and how you kind of can manage you know certain libraries being a little a little more reverb a little wetter um, and some others being more bit more cutting um, since I got the kind of Vienna Ensemble Pro set up I've been using a lot more of the older libraries that I, I used to use and one of those is um, Hollywood Strings yeah, Hollywood Strings is is a, is a great library. It's is very loud um, in in terms of its recording, um, fantastic uh, recorded kind of levels. And if you're looking for something that's that's kind of can cut through, um, you know, I mean, one of the horn libraries I'm I'm using here from Cine Samples is recorded at Sony, um, and that's also you know incredibly loud in volume. So if you've got a library that kind of like Albion One from Spitfire, which is kind of my go-to library for the majority of the time, but I find it just doesn't cut through quite enough to still be audible within the mix if you've got those big horn sections and big percussion kind of going off hit left, right and centre. Um, so I jumped back to it for this composition. I just loaded it up in VE Pro, it didn't bother me at all in terms of resources on the system. Um, and all my kind of, that was my starting point. Um, I started with like a fast celli um, kind of uh, section. So um, yeah, without kind of rambling on too much, um, I'm going to take you through um, the, the track. Um, then we're going to be focusing on kind of the, com the combinations of um, uh, East Wests or Quantum Leaps or Hollywood Strings. We're using Native Instruments Action Strings. Um, we're using Albion 1 for the strings throughout the composition. So it's going to jump so you can see Pro Tools here. Um, and I'm going to play you basically everything in. And then I'll kind of uh, solo out the strings on their own and play it through like that. So you get a, a, a perspective of what's happening from, from all angles. So um, enjoy. Okay, so that was the cue um, kind of all in. Um, now I'm going to play it for you again, but we're just going to be looking purely at the at the strings. So um, I'll lose the, the kind of percussion um, that I've got at the bottom here, and we'll jump straight into the actual parts um, so you can see what, what's kind of happening. Just so you know, so you've got a little more of a clearer visual on the actual screen, the kind of this, this at the top here, um, here, this is all Albion, um, so strings one. Um, is all is all Albion uh, instruments. Then when we've got strings too, this is the Hollywood string stuff, um, and action strings also lives um, on this channel here. But I'm going to play it through you now, um, just so you've got basically just the strings on their own, and then we'll go through and I'll take you through um, the different sections. So uh, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, so that was the two parts together. Um, uh, or, you know, together with everything, and then and then the solo without any drums or any any kind of uh, brass elements, just the strings. So I say I open with this kind of um, um, spiccato or, or staccatissimo. Now, please tell me if I've pronounced that wrong. It's staccatissimo or staccatissimo or something along those lines. But it's basically where the the players are bowing notes incredibly quickly um, on the. Well, not they're not bowing. This you know, it's a, it's a bounce off the string. There's no arco notes involved at all. It's literally a really quick um, performance. Obviously, if you're running sixteenths, a, a kind of a one thirty. It's it's very fast playing. Um, so those are the that's the patch I used um, directly in Hollywood strings. So I mean, if I if I take you over to V Pro, um, this is the the kind of setup that I've got for Hollywood strings. So we've got the both celli, um, celli, viola, um, and basses. Um, the stacker, st I've got to get this right. Staccatissimo, staccatissimo, stacker. Anyway, I digress. Um, those three are both loaded um, for the fast parts. Then we've got uh, trems for the midsection uh, where the brass kind of kicks in. I've kind of just doubled that. Um, and then we've got um, uh, bass uh, staccato notes um, for the midsection as well. It was getting a little beefy in there um, when the tycos kicked in on the drums. So um, I just tried to basically just accentuate more of that of that rhythm um, on the string. So very rhythmic track. Um, I started, as I say, let's take you back to Pro Tools. I, st I started with um, with this line here um, with the celli. Um. And then just basically added, so th th that's that's doubled, by the way. Um, so both uh, celli and viola um, are playing those notes in, in the same octaves. Um, it, 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 you know, sometimes when we get to when we get to some of the parts, I've done kind of octave unison, but they're, they're pretty much doubled. Um, then Albion kind of takes care of the higher, um, the kind of first and second violin. There'll be some divisi here if we were to orchestrate this correctly, but this takes care of the pads, kind of, you know, um, supporting that that um, that rhythm, rhythmic element, um, and obviously your horns, your big horn lead comes in as well in this section. So yeah, um, gets a little more kind of involved in the midsection. Um, this is basically all the strings in this part. Um, all of them are coming directly from Hollywood strings. So you've got basically violas and first violins. Um, they're they're doing a trem uh, with the horns um, in this section here. So you can hear that you can hear the tremolo notes here. And and they're they're doubled with the horns. just crescendoing into the the kind of next part where the choir kicks in and it all gets a little more uh, ethereal i suppose if you can say that of an action cue um so yeah um that's where the stabs come in um in this part as well um with the the contrabass so we're just uh actually completely taking the strings out good work mike <laughs> Just, just on the, on the, you know, on the, on the downbeats um, there. So, yeah, um, that's the kind of midsection, um, and then towards the end of the cue, we stop with the staccato and go back to the uh, stacchistimo uh, parts. So we get a, a unison in octaves of this line. <laughs> um, you may be wondering um, what this part here is all about. Now, this is action strings, so. Whereas kind of the um, the other notes um, I was talking about here, um, I where I've actually programmed the parts in and deciphered their you know, how how loud or soft they're played in terms of velocity, what Action Strings does is it calls on uh, scripts. So these parts here, where, whereas I've told it the kind of uh, the harmonic um, kind of structure that that I want it to play. And then I've chosen kind of basic um, rhythms um, within the patches. or I've chosen the rhythmic kind of uh, parts to play. It then plays back 
the selections. If, if you listen to it first. So, you know, you're probably thinking, well, hang on a minute, these are block cores. Well, what that's actually doing, if I open up the, um, the actual patch itself, this is action strings at the bottom here. So what you've got is within the actual within the actual um, kind of a plugin, um, you've got these different rhythms that you can select, and there's a whole bunch of them um, within the menus. And then you key switch between them. So if I'm actually if I actually trigger to record on action strings, if I kind of if I just hold a D. So that's just that's literally playing our diddlin 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 with the first note accentuated um, on on each part. If I want to go back to the fast kind of notes, I just press D zero. You know, and I can I can trigger all between these, so we can go we can start at say C zero. that's basically what I've done you know if I if I play my part um, now alongside the the, the plugin you'll be able to see it, it, it what it's doing you know even that that end bit with the um, did it in you know which matches up to the if I come back to my part here here we've got a um, it looks like a triplet yeah triplet and a triplet ends so if I play from here just so you've got to make sure when you're playing these back see these here are the actual key switches these are the you know that's that's the D zero you know and that's going to be the um, the D sharp zero so it's that's what's actually triggering the note so if I start playing Say if I play here, so we we currently set we currently set to the did 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 did, whereas this bit's the digga 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 digga. So I've, you you know if I it just can it just can continue playing from the last the last keynote that is selected. So if you're going to preview back, you've got to make sure that you've put where you want to go to after that passage if you like so if i wanted to go back to kind of the the j -j 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 part i'd have to put another key switch after this phrase um it just all go wrong but if i play these together you, you'll see what i mean how the the triplet part on the um to move this note triplet part here which is being played by the celli and hollywood strings it ends nicely when i jump to this key switch to, and, we, and we get the da -da -dun. Yeah, so it's yeah, so it just it just ends it ends it up. So yeah, there's there's some conversation around. You know, have I composed that part? Well, in my mind, yes. You know, I've chosen the harmonic parts, and I've I've um you know I've I've changed the rhythm here. It it kind of makes things a lot quicker. You know when I actually came to this section, part of the reason I chose to use um, um action strings was that I was running out of time, and I thought right let's get this in. So it definitely inspires you to to choose different um, kind of rhythms, um, and you you know you just hold thing you can hold things down and play with it. You know. So yeah, all you're doing is holding a note, but you're still actually you're still deciding how that's going to change, if if that makes sense. Um, and then yeah, for the, for the end of sorry, I'm digressing there big time. But when we come back to the end of the, of the track, then we jump back to um, um, Albion One with their kind of a full ensemble patch, um, which I'll play for you now. So that's here.
Yeah, so I I just I wrote the string part first, and then obviously put a, lead, a horn lead. That's the Chapman trumpet, by the way. I know we're talking about strings, but the Chapman trumpet is something that is just amazing. Um, I, you need to pick it up. Basically, it's uh, it is it is fantastic. Yeah, really really cool. Um. But I'm going to take the brass out for now, and we're going to go back to the strings. So another thing I'd like to kind of um, uh, talk about um, is um, how you kind of mix these libraries together. So on on the kind of, uh, on the sub bus, if you like, so if I take you now to my mixer window, we're looking at this string part here. Um, this is where all the strings come into. So I've got um, basically a, rever a reverb, um, which is the east-west uh, quantum loop spaces you can see here so everything goes into a north a northwest hall um and that's my phone so give me one second Chew. really professional right in the middle of a video okay um so yeah uh, sorry about that so yeah everything coming into a, a northwest hall um which basically um i've dr dried i've dried it back on the on the dry a little and I've, I've put the wet signal up but what you might find is a library such as um, Holly, um, not Hollywood strings, sorry. Well, I, yeah, and Holly, in fact, Hollywood strings would be another one I could use. But Action Strings particularly is a very dry library. You know, if I take, if I go into here and I take the um, the sound off, so at the moment it's kind of quite back in the room because of the reverbs I've used. But if I if I take these off, go to stage. And I've also added my own. If you hit the if you hit the kind of uh, cog the spanner icon in contact, you get this window up, and then you can add your own instrument effects. So I've added my own reverb here. Um, if I bypass that altogether, so if I take the um, the wet part of it, so it's currently on thirteen point three. If I take that down, very 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 um, dry. Um, in in kind of um, if you compare that to say Albion or something like that, it's very dry. So I brought that back up with thirteen. I think it's thirteen point two or something like that. I had thirteen. Yeah, it just brings it up. You know, if I go back, if I go back and sort of start now playing my ensemble. Side, then we go back to action strings. Puts it in the same type of perspective. So if you run into that issue, don't don't be scared to kind of jump into your actual plugin itself and uh, and apply effects. I mean, if I take you over to um, if I take you over to V Pro here, you can do the same thing here for um, Hollywood strings. So if you go into Player, they've got their own reverb part here. I'm not actually using it here um, because it it translated quite well across. Um, you know, if I go to the trems here, for instance. You know, it didn't need any extra reverb at all um, on the library at, at all to work. That's actually something that's annoying about um, about Hollywood strings and kind of some of the east-west east -west stuff in general. I'm waiting on a, a cool nano control to turn up so I can actually uh, effect both modulation, um, kind of sustain and um, expression, which East West seem to use a lot. You know, whereas most libraries, especially the Spitfire stuff, you you move the mob wheel. You know, if we take like a, let's take the uh, the Gato slow notes here. This is a fantastic patch, by the way. So all that stuff's done, you know, if I actually, I suppose it would help if I actually had the window open for what I was playing, but if, yeah, if you go up, if you go back into the, the local kind of the legato part here, oh, I was open, but the legato part. You can see the dynamics changing here, um, but for the, you know, if I move the...
you don't so much get that um, with uh, with the East West stuff, you know, um, not all the time anyway. So we'd need to um, you need to use expression um, instead. So when I get my cool nano control, I can do that. So if I jump into my part here, this is where this is where this is all about at the bottom. Um, I've drawn in my own expression to match the. So I'll do that again because I realised I'd left you on the complete wrong screen. I do apologise. Um, I'm just still getting used to this uh, OBS deal. So yeah. So yeah, you're just using expression um, as opposed to modulation. You know, action strings here would would. Uh, would 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 kind of uh, capitalize on on um on mod wheel hopefully you can hear that's getting louder and quieter as does as does albion if i jump into this 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 patch here it's very subtle with albion very very subtle i, I really like it like, for stuff like this Al, you know, Albion all the way for stuff like that. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously there's a, there's a lot of stuff I've skipped over in in uh, in, in the video. Um, the percussion um, of which there's lots of uh, lots of the percussion that I programmed in here. Um, Um, but you know, I really wanted to focus on on kind of strings for this this particular video. Um, that's something I'll come on to um, in in the future. Um, so yeah, I mean, please do let you know, rate, comment, uh, subscribe, get in touch with me. Um, if there's anything in the video that's interested you or something you feel I didn't kind of mention, uh, correct me on my pronunciation. You know, is it is it stacker stackatissimo stackatissimo Stacatissimo, yeah, stacatissimo, stacatissimo. So yeah, those are those fast notes we all know and love from those uh, those big action scores. Um, you know, but yeah, that's an example of kind of your three or three libraries in my case, um, both action strings, native instruments, uh, at, um, Albion One from um, Spitfire Audio and Hollywood Strings from Quantum Leap, uh, East West Quantum Leap, working together um, in my mind in a, it kind of very well. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, Thanks for kind of checking in, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, I shall see you in the next video. Um, and let me know how this is all going with the the new cameras and stuff. Um, I'm getting quite excited about it all. Um, so yeah, um, probably next video will be towards the end of the month. So I've got to finish off a couple of things. Um, I need to focus on that. But um, yeah, I shall see you soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.